Hello crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I have a card that introduces the brand new Gerda Center Designs clear stamp set called Playful Kitten. And I've used one of the kitten images as my main focal point and one of the smaller images to highlight that focal point. So I just wanted to show you the stamp set. Um, if you have followed Gerda Steiner for a while, you might be a fan of her kitty cat. She does a lot of different digital kitty cat stamps. And so I was really excited to see her bring those designs into the clear stamps. And one of my favorite images from this stamp set is the little kitties that are kind of crawling on top of each other, playing with each other. I think that's a really great um, love-themed image that could be used in for a variety of occasions. It's the kind of love image that is perfect for a card, for a family member, for a friend, or for um, a romantic partner because of the pose that they're in. It's, you know, it's just so playful and cute. And so I'm going to stamp that image and since it was a brand new stamp set, I stamped off on a piece of scrap paper first just to make sure it would work. And I'm stamping in My Favorite Things Black Licorice Hybrid ink because I'm going to be doing some Copic coloring. Now you see that I have a circle die laying on top of my paper and that's because I'm going to create a circle of hearts around the kitty cats and so I want to make sure that they're going to be in the center of the circle and I'm just using the circle to um, create a guide so I'm tracing it with a pencil you could use anything in a circle it wouldn't have to be a die because I'm not actually cutting with it you could you know any round object you have in your craft room would do but I found that the circle die was pretty easy because it allowed me to make sure that my center image was stamped as well. And so once I have that traced with the pencil line, I'm going to go around the traced circle with the little trio of hearts stamp from the stamp set. And you don't have to worry about being super perfect. The guide, the line will be enough of a guide for you to um, create a circle and you want to try to make sure that, um, like, for example, if the top of the top heart, sorry, the, the, the point of the top heart is touching the pencil line, that it continues to touch the pencil line as you go. And rather than turn my stamp, in this instance, I chose to turn the cardstock. And that way, the stamps are, the like, the single top heart is always facing the outside of the circle. Um, it depends on what kind of look you were going for, but I just wanted to create something really uniform, and so that's how I decided to do it, for instance. And then I'm going to stamp the meow you doing. So it's kind of like a pun on how you're doing, how, or how are you doing. And I thought that that was funny because it could just be that kind of how are you doing sort of sentiment, but it also reminds me of Joey from Friends, and he'd be like, how you doing, and it's more of kind of like... um a pickup line sort of thing and so you could have it for that context as well. Once I have the heart stamped in the circle and I know that they are dry I'm going to come in with an eraser and erase that pencil line and when you erase the pencil line you have to be really firm to make sure that the line is completely erased so you'll have to make sure that your black ink is definitely dry because you don't want to smear anything. This is going to be a clean and simple card in the sense that it's all on one layer and um, any small mistake will be noticed because there's not you know any way to cover them up there's no layers there's no embellishment on top it's just the stamped and colored images and once I had stamped out those hearts I was thinking about how I would color them I was thinking maybe doing everything in a pink and then I counted the hearts around the circle and realized that there was 18 and that meant that I could perfectly divide it into a rainbow. There's six colors in the rainbow if you don't count indigo. And so um, I would be able to perfectly fit three sets of rainbow colors. And so then I just picked a Copic marker for each color of the rainbow. And I'm going to color in the hearts, just a solid color. They're very small. It would be incredibly difficult to do blending in there, and I don't think you would even notice if you did. So you could really use any markers for this. It's just that I'll be using Copics on the cats. So I decided to use Copics on the hearts as well. And so I'll just fill them in in red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple order, and then take the same colors and do that twice more until I have the hearts completely filled in. And with the hearts, 
I didn't measure ahead of time to make sure that the spacing between each set of hearts was perfectly even. And if you notice on the left side, the spacing is a little bit off between the, um, on that, basically that orange heart that there is there on the left side of the cats. But, um, it's not very noticeable, and if you experimented with the technique, you'd probably get a little bit better about the spacing. Or you could try stamping from both sides at the same time to try to come together in a, um, on the other side of the circle in a more even way. So I'm going to also be coloring the kitty cats, and I decide to go with a look of solid gray cats. Because... Since I have the rainbow now, I didn't want it to be too distracting or to compete with the rainbow, so I knew I didn't want to do any colored cats, and I thought that the gray cats would look best with the rainbow, and they would kind of pop off each other. The rainbow would look, would pop because it's contrasted with the gray, and the gray would pop for the same reason, as they present enough of a contrast. So I'm covering the entire cat in the lighter color marker, and then adding some shadows with a darker colored marker. For the bottom cat, I'm using the W3-W5 combination, and for the top cat, I'll be using the W1 and W3 combination, just so that it's slightly lighter color. I felt like if I colored them both with the same colors, I, they might have blended into each other a little too much, and so I have a light gray and then a dark gray kitty, and I placed it on some light gray cardstock as well to cut to bring in that color and then onto my card base and that's it for my card today if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you're interested in more crafty videos you can subscribe to my channel i'm going to leave you links to the products in the video description below including this brand new adorable playful kitten clear stamp from gerda steiner designs thanks for watching bye